The legal saga for a so-called fundamentalist religious leader is now over. Today, John Colthar pleaded guilty to sex crimes involving children, including his own daughters. News for Utah's Marcus Ortiz has the details behind his plea deal. From the very beginning, John Coltharp told attorneys that he could not say the words guilty because of his religious views. Today, that changed. I plead guilty. John Coltharp didn't hesitate when asked about what are the charges he was facing. Coltharp was the leader of a so called religion, the Knights of the Crystal Blade. He and a follower, Samuel Schaefer, kidnapped their daughters and hid them in a storage bin in Iron County. And while on the run, they married each other's daughters and sexually molested them. Today in court, Coltharp accepted a plea deal and admits to sodomy and committing bigamy. Oh, yes, I'm guilty of violating both of those. That is a fact. As far as the date, I don't know exactly when, but it was somewhere within 2017. Probably. That's close enough. Last month, Schaefer was sentenced to 26 years to life in prison for his role in the crime. A third person, Robert Rowe, who was recruited into the religion, was recently charged for sodomizing one of Schaefer's daughters. The prosecutor says Coltharp's guilty plea offers justice for his family who were victimized by his religious beliefs. They gave me what they believe justice would look like. We were able to obtain that for them. So for me personally, I'm very happy. The family is relieved. With the two guilty pleas, John Coltharp is facing a minimum of 26 years to life in prison. In Manti, Marcus Ortiz, News for Utah. In exchange for Coltharp's guilty plea, charges of kidnapping and obstruction of justice were dropped.